Athletes like that physical shit, you know? When they're pleased with each other, they bump chests and butt heads and bang forearms. Why don't they just punch each other in the fucking teeth? Wouldn't that be great? Teammates, I mean. After a touchdown pass, why doesn't the guy who caught the ball just go over and kick the quarterback right in the nuts? Same with the slam dunk in basketball. The guy who scores ought to grab a chair and beat the living shit out of the guy who fed him the ball for about 45 minutes. If this type of celebration were more common, the post-game show from the winner's locker room would be a lot livelier. And I also think there should be at least one sport where the object is to kill someone. A team sport, death ball. Let's face it, athletes are mostly physical freaks with serious personality defects where competition is concerned, and they just love someone to motivate them. Well, what greater motivation can there be than trying to avoid being killed? It's a fucking natural. And for me, what could be more fun than watching one of these jack-offs motivate his ugly ass into an early grave every game? Here's another thing I love. Losing streaks. I wish some year a baseball team would lose 162 games. I especially like decades-long postseason losing streaks. In fact, as soon as my teams are out of the running, I start actively rooting for the Cubs, Red Sox, Bills, and Vikings to get as far as they can in the postseason so that ultimately they can let the big prize slip away one more time. I think it is infinitely more interesting a news story for a team to repeatedly fail at the highest level than it is for them to finally win. If the Cubs ever win a World Series, the news coverage will be the most boring bunch of shit you can imagine. Thank you.